Welcome to Season 4 of E-Commerce Fastlane. This podcast helps resilient entrepreneurs thrive with Shopify. And now on to Episode 160. You're listening to E-Commerce Fastlane, the podcast show to help you build, manage, grow, and scale a successful and thriving company powered by Shopify. Listen to real conversations with partners and subject matter experts as they share proven practical strategies, platforms, and the best Shopify apps to help you accelerate your business. The time is now for you to improve efficiencies, grow revenue, profit, and lifetime customer loyalty. Please welcome your host, startup founder and strategic advisor, Steve Hutt. Today's episode is brought to you by High Conversion Recommend, powered by Amazon Personalize. They help medium to large Shopify merchants boost engagement, increase conversions, and most importantly, grow new revenue with the same product recommendation AI that's used on Amazon.com. When your visitors can't quickly discover the right products, they leave and they go to a competitor or a big marketplace, which really explains why on average, 90% of your online visitors never find a product or add an item to the shopping cart. High Conversion Recommend is unique. They use visitor actions, context, and Amazon's own recommendation algorithms to generate ultra-relevant personalized recommendations all in real time. You know, and the results are proven. Shoppers who engage with product recommendations are known to produce more in revenue per visit compared to those that do not. Because conventional recommendation apps train algorithms with existing customer data, the impact is limited to your smallest traffic segment, about 10% of your visitors who are returning buyers and lookalike visitors. With High Conversion Recommend, you can benefit from Amazon's session-based personalized recommendation engine using live visitor actions and context to learn buying signals. This unlocks revenue potential from your largest share of visitors, up to 90% of your so-called cold traffic who would otherwise never buy anything. So I highly recommend install High Conversion today. Take them up on their offer. They have a seven-day product recommendation challenge. They believe they can produce 100% more revenue per visitor in just one week with the use of Amazon's product recommendation algorithms. So head on over highconversion.com and mention your e-commerce fast lane listener, and you'll also get an exclusive 20% off their annual plan. Well, hey there, it's Steve, and welcome back to the e-commerce fast lane podcast. Now, if this is your first time listening, this is an e-commerce show where we have honest and transparent conversations about building and thriving with your store powered by Shopify or Shopify Plus. And if you're an ambitious, lifelong learner, then you're definitely in the right place today. New episodes are available twice weekly with your favorite podcast player like Apple Podcast, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, and many more. You can also stream current episodes, including a very relevant back catalog, directly from ecommercefastlane.com. Now, in today's episode, my guest is Manish Goyal, who's the founder and CEO of a company called FriendBuy, and they're a referral marketing platform. And what they do is they help Shopify brands and other CMSs, but what they do is they help accelerate the customer acquisition channel through referral programs. It's really interesting. It's a great conversation. I planted a few extra seeds in here with some questions. I just, there's some really important topics today based on the feedback that I've been getting from the brands that I manage. A ton of learnings. Please make sure you also listen through to the end of the episode. There's an exclusive uh, listener-only bonus available. So hi, Manish. Welcome to e-commerce Fastlane. Hi, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, you're quite welcome. So let's set the stage a little bit. I didn't want to hack it up too much at the beginning, and it's always nice to hear it from the founder. But like, what does FriendBuy do, and what sort of problems are you solving for Shopify store owners? Yeah, absolutely. So FriendBuy powers referral programs for high-growth e-commerce companies. We work with companies of all sizes, from early-stage startups to high-volume merchants like Casper, Spanx, and even Walmart. A referral program, also known as a -a refer-a-friend program, is where you reward existing customers for bringing you new customers. Now, most marketers recognize that a referral program can be a huge driver to accelerate customer acquisition. 
But building one is complicated and difficult to maintain because it has a lot of moving parts. Friendbuy makes it super simple for Shopify merchants to launch a referral program with all the best practices you need to succeed. We do it with superior technology and we provide a user experience that integrates really well with your customer journey. Thanks so much for sharing that. So let's talk about the journey. I'm always fascinated why people build what they build. You know, it's more than just, I want to make money and getting into a SaaS company and having recurring revenue. I think there's a, there's a, there's a lot larger story typically behind a lot of these uh, platforms that kind of connect to Shopify. So what do you believe uniquely positions you and the founding team on a couple points? Number one, I guess, to have the desire to build it. And number two, to have the expertise to even create this friend buy platform. You know, Steve, I love startups. I'm sure that's uh, similar to a lot of your audience here. I mean, you could call me a bit of a startup junkie, so I'm always starting something. What motivates me is I'm passionate about technology and I'm passionate about entrepreneurship. I studied engineering at MIT, so I'm a technical founder, and I get excited about innovating and building technologies that can scale. I developed my interest in e-commerce while doing consulting work for Zappos many years ago, and that was a, a formative experience for me. After that is when I founded Friendbuy with the goal of using technology to help e-commerce companies grow. Wow, exciting Zappos. That was the, the Tony Shea uh, world. And great, great people there to learn from and become colleagues with. It was, it was a, a remarkable place to be for a couple of years. Definitely a world-class company, there's no doubt about that. So let's discuss, maybe unpack a little bit about why you believe a Shopify brand needs to have a referral program. Like it would seem common that yes, you need it, but I think you have a different perspective. And like, so like, what do you see? And like, why do you believe it's an important marketing strategy to implement? Like if not yet today? Yeah. Look, if you're generating any sales at all and you don't have a referral program, then you're leaving revenue and growth on the table. Think of it this way. If you can get someone to buy from you, then there's no reason you can't get that person to tell their friends to buy from you. A referral program allows you to accelerate this consumer behavior. We routinely see that a well-executed referral program can generate anywhere from 5% to 20% of total orders. And for some of our clients, it goes even higher. Every customer you acquire through referral is one less you have to acquire through a paid channel. So it's incredibly cost efficient. Referrals really should be your best acquisition channel in terms of low CPAs and high LTVs. In fact, referral program CPAs are typically in the single digits. Compare this to CPAs of other channels, which are between $25 to $50 or even higher. Also, referred customers convert five times faster, so you're growing faster, and they typically have a two to three times higher lifetime value, so they stick around longer, and they buy more, and they buy more frequently. You put all that together, and that's why it's an important marketing strategy to implement. Now, I think a lot of e-commerce companies already understand that they're getting their best customers through word of mouth, but they have no way to track it and no way to get more of it. And often they don't know how to implement the best practices that are required to make a referral program really scale. So our goal at Friendbuy is to make it super simple for you to get live with all the best practices and with superior technology. And we've invested heavily into making this possible for the Shopify ecosystem. What's interesting about that comment there was the fact that there are a lot of referrals that are just happening on their own without any attribution whatsoever. And it's nice to understand that sort of channel. I think the word, I mean, I think it's been coined the dark web at one point where you just, you know, you have these inbound links or direct traffic and you just, it's coming to your website and it's converting, but you just don't know why. And you just kind of attribute that to maybe to an SEO potentially, but it more than likely is probably going to be a referral from somebody, you know, through email and things that just were untracked. And, you, and you're suggesting that now with your technology, you can actually make the proper attribution to it and you can motivate subscribers or people that actually, you know, make purchases from a Shopify store that they obviously like the product. They probably have other friends that would like it also. Yeah, you bring up an interesting point. You know, when we started Friend Buy, I think the term that was coined was dark social. And there was a lot of talk at the time about trackability of clicks in the social networks, but it was recognized that most sharing happens through things like email or a chat, you know, like a Slack or a Gchat or whatever. And 
that actually is a phenomenon that still occurs today, which is that one-to-one communication is generally happening through text or email or chat, and it's not trackable. And so it's still not measurable and you can't really accelerate it. And with a referral program, what we find is that those one-to-one channels are typically the most high performing. It's not to say that it isn't interesting to get sharing and referrals on the larger social networks. That does happen. But the most powerful channels for referrals are still me sending an email to a friend, me sharing a personal link through chat or through an SMS. And with FriendBuy, you can actually now track that behavior and it allows you to identify which of your customers are engaging that way. And it also allows you to then accelerate acquisition through referral. Let's talk about FriendBuy maybe as it directly relates to Shopify brands. Is there anything that's very specific that Friend by offers to Shopify because I know you connect to other content management systems, other e-commerce platforms. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd almost call you a little bit platform agnostic to a certain degree, but I also know on the flip side, though, there is some uniqueness around connecting to Shopify powered brands. So would love to unpack that a little bit. Absolutely. For Shopify specifically, we have a one-click integration that makes it really easy to get set up. So routinely when we work with Shopify brands, which we love to do, we get them onboarded really, really fast. We power automated real-time coupon generation so you don't have to upload codes in bulk and manage code banks on an ongoing basis. We also now offer stackable account credit so your high-volume advocates can accumulate store credit instead of only getting non-stackable coupon codes. And we offer seamless integrations and workflows with platforms throughout the Shopify ecosystem. Platforms like Klaviyo, Attentive, Akendo, Delighted, Recharge, and more to come this year. These integrations allow you to do things like grow your email list, your phone number list, display referral links at key touch points in the customer journey, automate reward fulfillment. So we're taking a holistic approach to the Shopify ecosystem. So loyalty and retention, you know, I know firsthand it continues to be a very important topic uh, for brands and for a lot of reasons, you know, there's an increase in online competitors and because of that, there's this rising customer acquisition costs on Google and Facebook just because there's more retailers selling and in just the way the algorithm works, more people are bidding on the same keywords, obviously uh, supply and demand price goes up. And so Can you share some specifics, I guess, about your solution and why it's different maybe than other referral or loyalty solutions in the marketplace? So we've really specialized with referral. And as I mentioned earlier, it has a lot of moving parts. Most referral products that you see out in the market offer a simple way to put up a trackable link for your users, but there's very little protection against fraud. There's no technology to automate best practices, and there's no visibility if something were to break down. We've built robust technology to power referrals for high growth merchants, and we've learned what's required to launch a referral program that performs and scales. So this includes things like sophisticated fraud controls and business rules to maintain high program integrity. You really need to have high program integrity if you want to have the confidence to make a compelling offer to get people to refer their friends. We've also implemented automation for dealing with returns and cancellations, multi-device attribution, which is increasingly important as customers browse across many different devices. We provide detailed tracking across every share channel that includes the personal URL or personal referral link, as well as email referrals, SMS, and all social. We give you complete control over your campaigns from offer management to creative control. And FriendBuy is very well integrated into your website and customer journey. We don't send your customers to a third-party portal. Your customers should always feel like they're on your website or your mobile app and not on some third party. Lastly, no other solution allows you to run multiple campaigns like FriendBuy does. That can mean concurrent A-B testing, targeting different offers to different customer segments, or even running parallel campaigns for a new product launch or to get people to download your mobile app. 
there's many Shopify Plus brands that are listening today. I mean, there's a lot of marketers, brand owners. I mean, I'm part of the merchant success team on Plus, and so I get a lot of my own merchants to actually listen in. And I know merchant success in general definitely enjoys listening to this podcast, and it gives them ideas about how they can um, have more impactful conversations with their merchants. So these are more the mid-market or enterprise brands. They're definitely growing rapidly. So what does it mean for a referral program to scale? It means referrals represent a significant portion of your total acquisition and that you're not doing things manually. When you're small or just starting out, maybe you're okay with approving referral purchases manually to check for fraud or to factor in returns and cancellations before issuing rewards. But when you're scaling, you really need automation. For example, as I mentioned earlier, Friendby puts referral rewards into a pending status and automatically checks for returns and cancellations as well as fraud before issuing rewards. We integrate with email platforms like Klaviyo and SMS platforms like Attentive so that emails and phone numbers acquired through the referral program are automatically added to your subscriber lists. We integrate with reviews and NPS surveys like Akendo and Delighted so that you can prompt your customers to refer after they give you a positive review. We also provide functionality like the Advocate Referral Dashboard so that your customers can track their own referral history instead of bombarding your customer service team with questions. And FriendBuy sends automated emails to referred friends to increase conversion rates and automated emails to advocates to increase referral rates. So to scale your referral program means you've got automation and the integrations in place to fully integrate referrals into your brand experience. And if you're doing that, referrals can represent a true growth engine for your business. You know, I like being inspired a bit too, you know, with different types of solutions that connect to Shopify and, you know, these Shopify powered stores, people like to look up to them going, Hey, you know what? I don't have a referral program right now. Let's say those listening today, but I would like to get one. It's nice to see others and kind of what they're doing and you know, what, how it may be successful for them or is successful for them. And so are you able to I may get you off guard here a bit, but are you able to share any notable case studies from any of the brands that are, that you believe uh, or know are doing referral marketing extremely well? Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about two brands who are both on Shopify and both are very high growth. Uh, the first one is Figs, F-I-G-S. Figs designs fashionable yet functional clothing for medical professionals. They make it very easy to refer friends throughout the customer journey. For example, they have a strong primary call to action on the website, which generates program awareness and drives referral engagement. They have a post-purchase overlay to catch customers' attention at a time of maximum excitement, which also drives awareness and engagement. Also, after they send out a net promoter score survey, for any customer who gives them a score of 9 or 10, Figs shows the customer their referral link directly on the survey thank you page. They use Delighted for NPS surveys, and Friendby has an integration with Delighted to power this use case. Same idea after a product review. Friendbuy's integration with Klaviyo automates this workflow where a positive product review triggers an email from Klaviyo with a thank you note to the customer and the customer's referral link. So you can see how integrations plus automation really come together to drive referral program performance. Figs also has done a ton of optimization using Friendbuy. They've A-B tested offers, messaging, and even the email subject lines of email referrals. A-B testing has significantly increased their share rates and referral conversion rates, thereby increasing referral revenue. One more thing, they experimented at the very top of their funnel and learned that potential customers who've joined their mailing list, but who haven't yet purchased, can actually be motivated to purchase by telling them about the referral program. As a result of all these practices, FIGS has achieved really strong referral metrics, high AOVs and exceptionally higher LTVs and much lower CPA compared to other acquisition channels. One last anecdote that I think your audience will really enjoy hearing about. FIGS will occasionally have promotions or new product launches maybe a few times a month. When this happens, they see big spikes in referrals during those events. Their best customers show up to buy, and then they refer FIGS to their friends at high rates. So not only is FIGS selling more, but they're also acquiring new customers through their best customers 
during these events. Mm-hmm. It's a very interesting strategy. I like that. I like it a lot. I also love the Figs brand too. They've, uh, I think there's been a few case studies kind of written even internally in Shopify, just an incredible Shopify plus brand and very timely too. being first responder kind of friendly with you know, nurses and doctors and kind of and just the way the scrubs, it's really interesting, the quality of the product. I'll make sure there's a link in the show notes for those that are looking for, and anybody can wear it because it's very comfortable, but it's also very practical for people in the first responders kind of a category. It's interesting how they're executing, but is there any other brand that he mentioned there was going to be a couple? What's the second one that you'd like to share today? Yeah. The second brand I'd like to talk about is Thinks, T-H-I-N-X. They're also on Shopify. Thinks sells women's underwear. They're direct to consumer and super high growth. And they've been partnering with Friendbuy since they launched the company. So Thinks is leveraging Friendbuy's new stackable account credit feature for Shopify Plus. They now reward advocates with stackable account credit, whereas in the past, it was with single-use coupon codes. Now, Thinks has always been very successful with referral, and especially with getting repeat referral behavior from their advocates. But coupon codes in Shopify are non-stackable, so if you refer a lot and earn a lot of codes, you have to use them on separate orders, which can be frustrating. Well, with Friendbuy's new account credit module, those high-performing advocates can stack their earnings to spend on larger orders. This feature alone helped Thinks to double their referral performance just by switching from coupons to account credit. So clearly, their high-performing advocates were more satisfied with credit that they could accumulate to spend on larger orders. Another interesting tactic that Thinks uses is running limited time referral contests. They recently ran one where the winners received a Nintendo Switch. This contest introduced a lot of new people to the referral program. It doubled the number of referrals they were getting week over week, and it actually raised their baseline for overall referral performance. What's interesting about this stackable credits, I think it's quite interesting, especially for the Shopify Plus brands where you know you have access to the API and you can do these sort of things. I find I have a lot of brands discussing about influencer marketing or brand ambassadors, and it sounds like an interesting way where you're handling the coupon codes or the tracking links for these particular influencers, these content creators. What's interesting is that now you have an option for, and maybe instead of giving product in exchange for posting, you're actually giving people uh, credits on the platform that can be used. So I guess essentially they have a logged in experience, I guess, so to speak, on the brand with a credit available for them to use to buy and then resell or consume or whatever they choose to do with it. They've earned it because these are direct referrals that they have shared their link through social media as an influencer or a brand ambassador. Am I getting the flow of how the platform works with the stackable side? Yeah. So as a merchant, you have complete control using Friendbuy to stipulate what kind of rewards you want to offer to your customers or to your influencers if you identify specific individuals that you want to reward somewhat differently. So you could actually have a program where your consumer to consumer referral program could be coupon codes based. It could be stackable account credit based. And then with your influencers, you could gear it more towards just account credit, or you could even say, I want to do a straight out monetary payout in the form of uh, third party gift cards or some other financial incentive, if that's the way you want to go. So Friendbuy's platform really allows you to directly own that relationship with your influencers and provide the kind of incentive that you think makes the most sense for your brand. Yeah, I love it. I'm all in on the partnership side of it. And I just think there's just this authentic nature of dealing with people with a little bit of influence, even if they're micro influencers. So it sounds like your platform, its core benefit for sure is the referral side, you know, friend to friend, and let's accelerate that that growth. And I totally get it. I also see the benefits for those listening today that there could be the influencer partnership side and you can choose the rewards. And it's fairly easy in Shopify with some free solutions that are out there. I'll put some links in the show notes, but being able to understand the social footprint of the brands or of the customers that are buying from you, knowing what that footprint is, there's ways of identifying who they are through a tag. And then from there, even using Clavio in partnership with friend by what an interesting, interesting way to reach out to them and saying, Hey, just so you know, we have this referral program. You likely want to sign up for it because you already know their social footprint is large enough that you believe it could offer 
more impact as an influencer or a brand ambassador, more than just the one-on-one -on -one relationship of how the tool currently works. I'm thinking even larger here about the whole referral marketing part of it and then the influencer part of it. Yeah, like I said, with FriendBuy, you can really own that relationship with your influencers and stipulate the kind of incentives you want to offer to them and have it be totally different from the type of incentives you want to offer to your everyday consumers. Ah, oh, beautiful. Definitely all in on referral marketing. There's no doubt. I'm sure that our listeners also would agree there's benefits. You're recommending one person makes a purchase and you're recommending to one of their friends to also buy that same product in exchange for some kind of a bounty on either end. Credits for the person referring, a discount potentially for uh, the person receiving the offer. So I think those listening today would agree that you have a technology to do that sort of thing. From your unique vantage point, like where do you see, I guess, almost the future of referral marketing? I'm not, I know you don't have a magic wand or a crystal ball, but I'm just curious to see where you believe it's headed. Well, we're seeing optimization play a huge role in where referral marketing is going. So that means A-B testing referral offers and optimizing different share channels. So the ability to optimize really both sides of the referral funnel, the advocate side, as well as the friend side. It also means audience segmentation, where you can target different offers to different audiences. So for example, maybe a VIP customer should get a better offer for referring friends because their friends are more likely to become VIPs. We're also seeing merchants now use referrals for multiple business initiatives. For example, instead of just promoting at the brand level, merchants are using referrals for things like a new product launch to help get the word out around a new product launch or to drive downloads of their mobile app. Hey, refer a friend to download our mobile app or to get friends to join a VIP program. Uh, hey, refer your friends to join our VIP program and we'll give you X, Y, Z. Our clients are already starting to run these types of tactics today. And with the workflows we're developing, we believe these techniques will become standard in the marketer's playbook. And I want that playbook when it comes out, <laughs> I tell you right now, because I think that's exciting. Because it's And I like how, the, how we're thinking outside the box or the core technology that does what it needs to do from the one to one. But once again, I have a lot of brands that have currently or are very soon to launch their own mobile app. You can see the benefit. There's tons with product launches all the time. And so my mind is ticking right now or wait a second here. This interview today is a lot wider than I anticipated because it's so exciting that there's opportunity for anyone listening today that even if you have a referral program or you have a loyalty program already set up, you may not have the complete technology that friend buy has to allow you to do all of these sorts of things. So it's really, really, really cool. Let's talk about the future for your product. You know, are you able to share maybe your North Star, I guess, for the remainder of 21 and beyond, like, you know, partner alignment, uh, innovation, just end of the day, like how are you to continue to offer value and assistance to Shopify brands? Well, as I've talked about, we have a deep commitment to integrations in the Shopify ecosystem, and we'll be announcing more integrations this year with additional providers of email, SMS, and customer data tools. So our integration roadmap for the Shopify ecosystem is quite deep. We'll continue to invest in our Shopify one-click integration to add key features, and we're investing in ways for smaller and mid-market Shopify merchants to get live on their own with all the best practices that we've talked about today. For our larger merchants, we're expanding our APIs to support more customizations. And later this year, we will be introducing a new rewards engine with the capabilities for merchants to trigger rewards based on any custom criteria. That should play really well with referral. So think referral plus loyalty, retention, perhaps cross-sells and upsells. Finally, this year, we plan to really educate the market through opportunities like this one. We want to become a trusted resource to help Shopify merchants grow. Beautiful. I'm glad you said yes uh, for recording today because I believe that this is a, an important story to be told. I, I just believe it's a, you know, just with the you know, with this iOS 14 update right now that's happening, this kind of cookie-less future. And, you know, people always talk about retention marketing. You know, how do we maximize the value of our existing customers to build LTV? And because of the customer acquisition costs are so high, this is an incredible platform to really help those brands. If you've already converted the sale, then boom, you have an option to be able to share that off with some, with some other friends. If they're more influential, then all of a sudden they become a brand ambassador or an influencer and you can choose the partnership arrangements that are applicable for them. So I think that's like amazing. Manish, we're nearing the end of the show for today. What takeaways should the listeners get out of listening to today's recording? 
Yeah, I, I certainly hope it's been a valuable session for your audience. My, my takeaways are as follows. If you can get someone to buy from you, there's no reason you can't get them to refer someone to buy from you. In fact, word of mouth referrals can and should really be your best channel for customer acquisition. But to really succeed at referral marketing, you need to implement good technology that integrates with your tech stack and automates the best practices that are proven to work. If you do that, it can be a big driver of customer acquisition. Word of mouth has certainly been around a long time, but now it's gone digital. And digital referral marketing is rapidly taking hold with incredible results for Shopify merchants. Beautiful. So how can people learn more about your solution? Sure, yeah, you can go to our website, www.friendbuy.com. Check out the resources on our site. You can download our essential guide to referral marketing, which covers a lot of best practices in more detail. You could also go through our blog, which has additional examples pertaining to Shopify merchants. Beautiful. Now we did speak offline, I know before recording today, and I understand that you would like to share an offer for those listening. If you book a demo with FriendBuy through the link on the e-commerce fast lane site, we are offering a free month to any merchant who signs up for an enterprise plan. Oh, perfect. So demo is a first starting point just to see. I'm sure based on this recording today that you know, there, I'm sure those listening today have can see the value in wanting to have a referral program set up. If you don't have one, this is a great opportunity now to at least look under the hood a bit and take it for a test drive to see exactly what it can do. And then from there, if you choose to kind of get involved with uh, the organization, then yeah, getting a first month included as part of that uh, one year option. I think that's that's fantastic. I'll make sure that I have this link in the show notes. It'll be ecommercefastlane.com forward slash friend by and that will redirect you to that landing page. Um, I'll also make sure I'll have the essential guide to referral marketing. I'll have that also in the show notes. So just head on back uh, to this episode and you'll be able to get access to that. I just wanted to thank you for coming on the show today, uh, Manisha. It just, it's so educational for me. That, that's life of learning is kind of what one of my mantras are. And it's clear to me that, you know, you and the friend by platform, like the greater team and stuff, you guys are definitely in tight alignment with wanting to help all the brands that are on Shopify in a lot of different ways. I've learned improving efficiencies for sure. I love the coupon code idea that's always been a big problem uh definitely growing revenue is super important and key and sustainably kind of building this lifetime customer loyalty through referrals i think it's incredible i just want to thank you for coming on the show and sharing your vision and and just kind of overall giving back to the shopify ecosystem thank you steve it's been a real pleasure thank you again today's episode is brought to you by high conversion recommend powered by amazon personalize they help medium to large shopify merchants boost engagement increase conversions, and most importantly, grow new revenue with the same product recommendation AI that's used on Amazon.com. When your visitors can't quickly discover the right products, they leave and they'll go to a competitor or a big marketplace. And that kind of explains why on average, 90% of your online visitors never find a product or add an item to the shopping cart. Effective product discovery is a must have capability for all Shopify brands with 50 products or more in their catalog and ideally a million per year in revenue. High Conversion Recommend uses visitor actions, context, and Amazon's own recommendation algorithms to generate ultra relevant personalized recommendations, and most importantly, all in real time. So install High Conversion today and take them up on their offer. They have a seven day product recommendation challenge. They believe they can produce 100% more revenue per visitor in just one week with the use of Amazon's product recommendation algorithms. So head on over highconversion.com, mention e-commerce fast lane as a listener. You'll also get an exclusive 20% off their annual plan. Well, that's it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you personally for being a loyal listener of e-commerce fast lane. It's my hope that this podcast is offering you a ton of value through growth strategies, tactics, and exclusive insider tips on the best Shopify apps and marketing platforms, all with my personal goal to help you build, manage, grow, and scale a successful and thriving company powered by Shopify. Thanks for investing some time today and listening to the show. I'm so proud and excited that you have a growth mindset and are a constant learner. I truly appreciate you and your entrepreneurial journey. Enjoy the rest of the week and keep thriving with Shopify.